For football historians long searching for the fabled trophy, the realisation the ashes were found was a moving experience. Am I allowed to cry on camera? Well, that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? What a wonderful thing. Many thought the ashes, which were created after the captains of both New Zealand and Australia smoked a cigar after the first meeting on Australian soil in 1923, were gone forever. I you know, read a bit more about it and then discovering that this trophy, which ought to have been one of the pinnacle uh, objects in the history of the Australian and New Zealand Games, it doesn't exist anymore. The mystery was solved during a garage clean-out by the grandchildren of former Australian soccer chairman Sydney Storey. It's also particularly poignant because they symbolise the game's participation in World War I and in an interesting way the participation in World War I is what hurts the game. The game, so many of its players get killed. The razor box containing the ashes had been carried at Gallipoli by private William Fisher, the Queensland Football Association secretary. The wooden casing surrounding it was made from New Zealand honeysuckle and Australian maple and was last sighted in 1954. For that to go missing, it says a lot about, about the way this game manages to shoot itself in the foot all the time. Sison and Thompson had the assistance of Football Australia and government funding to lead a push to find the trophy. Its success, a great result for football in its struggle for broader acceptance in the Australian sporting landscape. They've sort of been ignored, um, whereas the other codes have almost claimed that history as their own. Well, this trophy proves that that is not historically correct. The symbol of togetherness the trophy celebrates is likely to gain a prominent place in a national museum for the sport, which is something Football Australia is planning. Maybe this is a sign that the game can correct itself, can fix itself, can remember itself. John Baldock, SBS World News.